around, we continue the story from the previous game. Uh, so it, it kind of it brings us closer to the characters we introduced in the in the first uh, game, uh, because normally people tend to not make it through the levels, right? So this time around, we actually wow. made sure that we, we kept some wow. some, some for, to kind of work with moving forward, right? <laughs> and uh, this time around, the, the story will kind of bring them closer to Agent Forty Seven and, and and the ties to his past and all that stuff. So it's going to be really exciting to 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 kind of get that out there. Excellent. Uh, one of the one of the cool things about, about Hitman that I've always loved is the ability to come at any uh, job, hit, or whatever, uh, with different play styles. Like, you could be a sneaky, you could, like, or you could be like me and just go running in and kill the guy and trying to escape. Is, yeah, like that, that. is there, is, uh, will that be a continuation in this? We are going to kind of continue in the same format uh, okay. with, with a mission where you, you yeah, this is a hyper detailed sandbox. In the case of Miami, it's centered around a race mm -hmm. uh, where one of the targets is actually driving one of the cars. Oh, that's nice. So, so the, you know, how can I get to her? Uh, but then we, we kind of drop you off at the entrance, and then it's, uh, it's up to you to figure out how, how do you want to solve this, uh, this mission. Uh, of course, we have all the different areas that you need when mm -hmm. you do a race, right? So the backstage area with pits and paddocks and VIP driver's lounges, uh, all that kind of stuff. We even have uh, flamingos, mascots. Uh, I saw lot, that. Lots, lots of disguises for you to kind of uh, use in order to infiltrate and, and, and get close to your target. So, so uh, and of course, a plethora of items in the mission that you'll see. Uh, you just saw fish. Uh, that's going to be one of the uh, yep. it, it's one of our favorites right now. Uh, so, so it's all about how do you want to complete your mission. Uh, well, I know a buddy of mine, uh, Mr. Spamfish, likes to do it, and I can't remember what the name of it is when you don't ever take off the suit. That's the silent assassin suit only. Suit, yes. yep. suit only. Suit only. Silent assassin. Yeah. That's the way he's going to do it. There's going to. I'm sure there's going to be like different. Uh, uh, achievements like that you can Absolutely. do, yeah. Lot, lots of challenges. We we always kind of want to challenge you in many different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's the challenges in, in the missions, and then on top of that, we have these escalation contracts, which we also had in the previous game, where, where we we kind of challenge you to do all sorts of things in the missions, not necessarily oh. eliminating the targets, but different things. And then, uh, of course, we have elusive targets uh, coming back as well. So edge, edge of your seat gaming, um, it's like you get one shot, right? And then yeah. It. Yeah. Those are some of the, those are some of the best th uh, best things uh, about the previous game. Was the elusive targets would you'd have a different target and you get one shot, one shot, and that's it to, to complete the mission. And sometimes they even had celebrity uh, celebrity targets in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, what, were, what were some of the ones last year? Wasn't there Gary Busey I in think there? Gary, yeah, Gary, no, oh, I think, uh, Gary. Gary Busey was, was, uh, was in last time, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> that was so yeah. good. It was so cool, though. I mean, that's, that's awesome that, yeah. that uh, you, yeah, he was yeah. one of the targets. When you go from a game like, uh, it's wildly successful, obviously. People play the heck out of it. Yeah. What are some of the things that you wish you could have done the previous game that you're able to do in this game? Well, this time around, we we, we of course, uh, you know, we're building on a solid foundation first of all, right? So so always we, 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 we have a lot of tools already available to us when we create the missions. Uh, this time around, we, in, we we kind of took a look at the crowd uh, gameplay. So right now in the, in the, in the next game, uh, you can actually dip into the crowd. So if you get into a lot of trouble, uh, it's, you know, hide in the crowd. Then the guards will try to find you, but they will have a hard time completing that. So you kind of have to sneak around in the puddle of people. Uh, besides that, we have uh, a feature called <laughs> Don't Hammer Down. Uh, no, we have a feature called Picture in Picture, which uh, you know, in case of someone finds this guy, uh, mm -hmm. then it will be shown to you. So even though you kind of continued your your uh, path through the mission, then you can still get the information that someone was found, wow. and, you, and Diana will use it to show you things in the levels. And we can also show events uh, that that occur. So if the target is doing something interesting, then we can also highlight that. So that's so cool. Kind of, you stay, you, so we kind of keep, you know. We go to great lengths to keep this hyper detail sandbox alive. Mm -hmm. So even though you're not in the area, then st stuff still happens, right? So, so this kind of really helps you to show that. And then uh, last but not least, one of the uh, fan favorites, uh, something that people have been asking for for years, is back, and that's the sniper briefcase. Mm. So 47 gets to carry around uh, a sniper rifle inside his briefcase, but he can also use it to store other items of suspiciousness that you don't want to <laughs> have shown. So. I think that should be the subtitle of, of Hitman 2. Hitman 2 Suspicious. items Suspicious. of suspiciousness. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, uh, the last time this game came out, it was released 
uh, episodically? Would yeah. that be a fair thing to say? Is this game going to do the same thing, or...? This time around we're doing a bit different. Uh, okay. Hitman 2 will be available. All the story missions will be available uh, November, November 13 when we launch. Nice. So you can kind of go at it at your own pace. Wow, okay. And then after that point we will continue with, with the live tail end just as we did in the previous game. So all the elusives, all the escalations, uh, there's going to be expansions and, uh, and also uh, we have this new game mode called Sniper Assassin, mm -hmm. uh, which is a sniper only experience and that's also going to be part of these, uh, this tail end. That was always one of, one of the coolest things about the game is, is how it never stopped. It, like, no. it kept the content, kept getting added more and Absolutely more things to right. do, more and more like escalations and, and that kind of thing. Um, Ah man, it's it's just it's just great. I can't wait to get. But my that's hands also on one it. of the things, right? Where, where now we we did it with the previous game, right? So now mm -hmm. we have a ton of experience in how to deliver these kind of things and, and where to improve and what what can we do better and, and, and more fun this time around. Um, now, does it all take place in the same? Uh, general location, or do you travel around a little bit? Just as last time, we do a lot of globe, globe trotting, right? So, so the, with this one is is in Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, Forty Seven hasn't been there before, uh, but then of course the other missions will take place in different locations. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, how, how many sniper missions are there compared to regular missions, or is that the sniper mission is a, is a separate mode? Uh, right now we have one, and then there will be several uh, more uh, during. That was the wedding one, right? That was the wedding one, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was watching a bit of that, and I couldn't believe like there's so many things that you can like shoot out and I was I was watching because you can just be a jerk yeah like you can shoot the wedding cake you can shoot the wine glass they're holding and they react to it and I was worried about that that maybe there would be no reaction like you shoot a wine glass and they're just like oh well I'll just get another one you know like sim style or something but instead they're like yeah so okay, just shot at me. What, what just happened? Well, I think that, that that's where we, the sniper missions they build on the same foundation as, as the rest of the game, right? Where where we go to kind of we, we go very deep in terms of, of making these events happen, right? So so when you have a race in Miami, for instance, right? Then yeah, the race ends at some point. So what happens uh, then, right? Yeah. So and and in the uh, the sniper assassin, right? It's the wedding uh, that that kind of it can go different ways based mm -hmm. on how you interact with the scene, right? So. So, yeah, if you shoot the cake, then someone's gonna get upset. Yeah. Uh, can you just oh, yeah. not shoot and let them have a nice wedding? You can also do that. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just let them have a nice wedding. Yeah, just a <laughs> good ending, go. man. Just, yeah. You might fail the mission, but you know, happy ever after. Yeah, but the trick of it is to kind of do it without getting noticed, right? The same rules kind of apply in a way, right? So you have to remove the targets without anyone seeing it, uh, just from a distance. We're talking about as far as uh, any kind of multiplayer or co-op. Uh, the Sniper Assassin actually has a, has a co-op mode uh, where you can play online with your friends, which is a first in, in our franchise, so that's uh, very, very exciting uh, that you actually get to team up with someone uh, and have the experience together. Uh, now, and work together and, you know, seek up your shots and, okay, I'll, I'm distracting this guy, you're distracting that guy, you got him, yeah, yeah, and then shoot at the same time. Cool. I, I just had to mention that, that uh, Agent 47 has now picked up my absolute favorite weapon from the last game, Mr. Crowbar. Precisely. And Mr. Crowbar, sometimes he gets a little angry and doesn't like what you say, so he has to show your mouth. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, a day of high-octane thrills and two very public targets.
in a world of assassins. And the best of them all is Agent 47.